Shannon and Ryan, this is the fourth reported assault here near Pitt's campus in the past week. Three of those were of a sexual nature, according to Pittsburgh University of Pittsburgh Police. We spoke with several students around campus tonight who say they're definitely paying attention to these assaults, but they're not necessarily concerned walking around. That's okay. definitely a scary thing for, for everyone. Like it's never Daniel Kelly and Charlotte Mosier are a couple, both juniors at Pitt and not ones to take any chances. When possible, Kelly doesn't let Mosier walk alone. I would 100% rather get up and go get her, walk her home, make sure she gets home safe. Kelly admits there are some areas he avoids when he's walking by himself. Mosier also uses the buddy system, stays on well lit or busy streets, and has a form of protection. I have like pepper spray and I have a personal alarm that I can set off if something does happen. So I just like to try to be prepared. Saturday morning's assault on Myron Avenue was the fourth in a week. The first last Saturday night on the 200 block of Oakland Avenue, where a woman said three unknown men groped her. Just hours later, an assault early Sunday morning on the 3400 block of St. James Place. Sunday night at 7 p.m., a woman says she was groped on the 3400 block of Fifth Avenue. The university's put out notifications after all of them, messages that students like Ngozi Obadike say they're getting. I've seen like things posted like on the doors of like towers, for example. Despite these incidents of late, students we talk to say they generally still feel safe, in part because they put themselves in good situations, but they also feel a police presence. Do you see the Pittsburgh police, the University of Pittsburgh and the city of Pittsburgh all the time? Personally, for me, I feel fine. Like at nights, I'm usually with friends, so I'm good. One of the biggest elements that the University of Pittsburgh does promote for safety are these blue emergency lights that you can find on campus. Some students point out, though, that these lights aren't necessarily fully available and readily accessible in some of these off campus areas. We did reach out to the chief of the University of Pittsburgh police tonight. He did tell us at this point there's no indication that all of these assaults are connected. For now, we're live in Oakland. David Kaplan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.